Greetings guys and gals, my name is Thad and welcome back to our Skyrim Magic Only Legendary playthrough. I have no idea where my companion is. Anyway, last part, we did the Golden Claw quest. Oh, that reminds me, we have to bring that back, right? Uh, and we battled our first boss enemy, a Draugr Overlord, I think it was. He was quite a formidable opponent, but in the end, he must, uh, <laughs> he yielded nonetheless. <laughs> is that a fox I see? I thought he just disappeared. <laughs> Burn fox! <laughs> I guess he's a fire fox now. <laughs> I'm sorry for that one. Hey, wait! That's Utgard. Hey, Utgard, how you doing? That's our meal for today. That's a lot of blood, holy crap. Is that from this fox? Holy chip, what did you... Whatever, man. Whatever. Oh yeah, we have to bring the golden claw back to the shop owner who was generous enough to give us the quest <laughs> um, to send us to a certain doom wait can I pluck those what are we dealing with here okay no I can't we're there there's like like color wise they look like I could whatever what do we have here what is this South Brittleshin pass all right so we will return here but first we have to go all the way to Riverwood and then we give him back his golden claw. I think he even allows us to keep the claw, if I remember correctly. Let's see. Where were you? Uh, was it this one? No, it was... Who? This one. Oh yeah, we can sell our stuff as well. Uh, we are going to sell it with the trader or with the smith? Do you buy armor? The sooner you find the claw, the sooner our lives can get back to normal. I have the golden claw. <laughs> you found it? Yes. <laughs> there it is! <laughs> Strange. It, it seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Good voice, actor. Funny thing, huh? Yeah, it is. I'm kind gonna of. put this back where it belongs. <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget this. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. No problem. Anytime again. Hey, so he so he doesn't give us the but he to give so us much to us to have the claw back where it belongs. But he gives us four hundred gold, which, you know, is way better than the stupid golden claw. It's a fine day with you around. Aww. <laughs> That's nice of you to say. Where's the where's the Smith? There he is. I wanna sell all of my loot to you. You looking for a new blade? Take a look. So what do we have for him? Uh we got some weapons. Mostly arrows. Then two of them, ancient Lord War axes. This one, I'm going to keep this one as a souvenir. It's got it goes in the barrel. Hunting bow. Wait, no, not one. All of them. All of the steel arrows, steel great sword, and the steel war hammer. Oh, we have a lot of gold now. Wait, was that our gold or was it his gold? Now we we do have we do have a lot of gold now. <laughs> Holy crap! How do we? Let's just sell to him, man. What the crap? Oh yeah, the armor. Sorry. Oh, the finest weapons and armor. Oh yeah. Okay, sell, 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 sell. There we go. Anything else we can sell them? Um, nah, I want to keep the rest. Okay then. Hi. Yeah, we are we are sitting at 146 of three. Hmm, my mouse is a little bit slow there. I don't know what's up with that. Oh, I want to go to the map. No map. And then we're going to go to the South British Impasse and see. What that's all about. Sheogorat. Sheogorat? There's a cave here. Well, Perfect hideout for bandits, or worse. Thank you for your commentary, it's good. Also, I like your hair. Oh, look at that. Snowberries. Always a good day if we can collect some snowberries. Wait, what is... What is that over there? Ominous weird fort thingy in the river. Eh, whatever. Go to the Brittleton Pass. What will await us here? Probably wild animals, skeletons, zombies, whatever it is, bring it on! Hmm. I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. There's a rune on the ground which probably damages us if we step on it. Whoa! I didn't... <laughs> I didn't even step on it! I just stood in front of it, that's not... a oh, come on. <laughs> Holy crap, I got so scared right now. <laughs> almost got a freaking heart attack why though I didn't step on it I trigger it with okay there we go I didn't step on it I swear to god replay that actually don't <laughs> because I'm probably wrong can I light those candles with a fire oh, okay whatever 
What else do we have here? Uh, where there's traps, there is loot. I hear creaking of the skeleton. Burn, skeleton man! Burn to death! There we go. Oh, fly on me now. Wait, there's another one! No, 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 no. Don't get closer. <laughs> Bad touch! No! Oh, okay. I thought he was swinging his axe right into my skull. And I couldn't do anything about it because it was in a sequence. In a uh, cutscene, I meant. Wow. Brittleshin Pass is more extensive than I thought, than I would have assumed. I just triggered a trap. Jump it back! Ha <laughs> ha! You cannot get me! I am too slick for you. Simply too slick. Okay, so that doesn't lead anywhere. Let's go down there and see what we have. Way, Fly Aminata. Always a nice day for mushroom collecting. Get ready. Trouble ahead. No, I accidentally triggered my hissed skin. Now we have to use it. What do we have here? I don't even care. <laughs> I accidentally activated my hissed skin. Damn. Okay, we do have... No, wait. Wrong. Wrong thing. We do have some sort of strong enemy here. Whoa! Give up, Whoa. Still too can. slick. Still too slick. Okay. Interestingly enough, he has summoned something, someone in the, in the cage, but he didn't open the cage, and he's just ready to go <laughs> at it. Oh! Oh, that's a spell shield, right? Is it a, is it a shield against projectiles, or is it just... Can dodge his icicles. No, no, no. Get away from me. Utgard, take him! Take him out! Come on! Attack him with your, with your, with your sword, man. You? Yeah. Come on! He doesn't do that much damage, at least to her, but I guess... I bet as soon as he hits me with what... Yeah, look at that. As soon as he hits me with one of his... things... That is extremely unpleasant. Here we go. Have to equip my healing spells. Okay, but at least his melee attacks don't do that much. Oh yeah, I still have his skin on. Wait, what do I only... Okay, there we go. I cannot heal him. Up, please attack him with your sword, man. Why do you have that big ass sword if you don't even wield it? Yeah, now go! Go at him! <laughs> big swings. That's what I like to see. Now I'm going to toast him. See? Swing, toast. Swing, toast. <laughs> he does so much damage with his magic to her. That's amazing. She is very cold resistant. I mean, I guess she's a Nord, so. <laughs> Goes without saying. Very nice. Very nice. And everything is. Coated in either ice or flame. What do you have for me, man? Necromancer robes. Ooh, magical regenerates 75% faster. Very nice. I don't know if I should equip it though, because my destruction robe is pretty cool as well. Um, what did that do exactly? 12% less to cast and magical. I think mine is better. <laughs> Sorry about that. Human heart, we could use that for alchemy purposes. Uh, conjuration increase, increased. Okay, dagger of sparks. I'm going to take all of your all of your stuff now. I want to. Yeah, there we go. Wow, you got so many books here, man. I'm going to take all of these. I'm going to probably sell them before I even read them. Arcan Enchanter. We are obviously allowed to use those, but as far as I'm concerned, they're only good to enchant weapons, right? Oh, I can enchant armor though, but I don't have any armor, so... <laughs> what can I do with those? Probably enchanting stuff. I can disenchant things, which would be kind of stupid. Okay, yeah, I could enchant my robes. That's good to know. That's good to know. That That, that is, that, that, that is um, useful. Knowledge. Right. Wow, you got a lot of stuff here. You were a very successful necromancer. I mean, you were still an apprentice, but you know, still very impressive. Silver necklace, ragged robes. How did I find ragged robes in this ash pile? Hmm. Question for the philosophers. Chest. Okay, going to. Ooh, my first magic staff, Staff of Fury. Now I can finally wield a weapon. 
<laughs> right? Yeah. Create creatures and people up to level 4 will attack anything nearby. Yes, fear me, for I am Tim the Enchanter. Don't see that every day. <laughs> Actually, that's completely useless, I think. <laughs> for now. For now. Flint flames. No, you know what? We're gonna go with Sparks Box. Sparks Box? Sparks Box. Here we go. Okay. Can I use this icicle? Can it fall down? <laughs> ah, probably not. It's probably just part of the environment. I'm still hearing skeletons. Skeleton? Are you ready to be electrocuted? Hey, look, I'm, look, I'm, I'm hitting both. Haha! <laughs> I can already take on two skeletons. And we're only, like, <laughs> 11 parts in. <laughs> loot, 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 loot. Looting all of you. Loot tube. Oh. Wait, I remember this. I could attack it so it falls down. Because if I don't, it just fires an, an energy blast towards me. And it instantly kills me. So, I have to attack it first, right? Huh. But I can't attack it with magic. I know that I, if I shot an arrow at it, that would work. Okay, you know what, Utgert? Can you trigger that? Wait, can I tell you to go there? Let's get going. I need you to do Fine. something. What? <laughs> what? Uh, wait, right there. We'll do. Okay then. See you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Thank you. We'll still have something you need. Uh, yes, you can. Going? Follow me again. Lead the way. Will do. Will do. Very good. Very good work. I don't know what what I do without you. What I would do without you. Moving on. And we're at the other side. Cancel the charge spell by sheathing or lowering your hands. I most certainly will not. There's a cave here. Perfect hideout for bandits or worse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not the not the sharpest tool in the shed, are you? <clears throat> Mountain flower. Tundra cotton. Wait, there was another one. And another one. A lot of tund lots of tundra cotton cotton over here. Ah yes. The untouched lands of Skyrim and also an elk. Wait, is that an elk? Wait, what so tell me, what is the difference between an elk and a moose? Are they the same? Huh. If you know. Let me know, please. I need to know such things, so I won't embarrass myself any further. Um, moving on. I don't know where we're going. Ooh, look at that. It's a mammoth. A beautiful, hairy elephant. <laughs> wow, so misty. Ooh, it's Nunroot. We're going to take this. We are going to take this. And then we're going to move on. Oh, a butterfly. It doesn't move for some reason. And some mountain flowers. Always nice collecting some stuff. Wait, there's another one right there. Eh, tundra cotton. Wait. I see you, blue butterfly. You can't escape me, tundra cotton. You cannot escape me. Uh, hoo, ha. I have played Assassin's Creed. I know what I have to do now. <laughs> hoo, ha, parkour. Damn it. <laughs> Wait, no. Don't go. No. I will get you. Curse it be you. There, there, I have you. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> there is a tower over there. Okay, this is the tower where we are going to face... Yeah, where we're going to face our first dragon, eventually. Okay, so we're just running in circles right now, right? We could go to this place ahead. Um, I think there were some giants there. Maybe we can steal some cheese there. That would be nice. It has been quite a while since we last stole some cheese. So it may be time to steal the cheese again. There is a giant right there. And a giant fire. Okay. Secunda's Kiss. I really love the location names of this game, by the way. Don't know if I've already said that before, but I do. No, 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 no. I do not want to provoke you. I will only steal all of your stuff and all of your cheese. Lavender. Where's your stuff? Where's your cheese? I know you got cheese. Don't try to fool me. I know you got cheese somewhere. Probably up there. Is, there, is, is he the, the, the cheese guardian? 
guardian of the finest cheese of Skyrim? I know he has to be. Just look at him. Isn't it kind of weird that all the giants look alike? That's kind of weird, isn't it? <gasps> Do you see what I see? The cheese. The richest cheese there is. Can I sneak past him? Maybe? Wait. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, the cheese is mine! Also the chest. Well, we have some steel maze. Da -da 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 -da, whatever. I have the cheese. I don't care about the rest. Hey, how you doing, buddy? I just stole all your cheese. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, he's not happy about that. <clears throat> Moving on. Once again. I think the giants level with you to a uh, up to a certain level. I think level... Let's I want to say 50, but I'm not entirely sure. After, after level 50, they become really weak all of this, all of a sudden, because you just cannot level them after that. But more of that another time. If you don't know how the level system in Skyrim works, I'm going to explain it another time. Oh, a wolf! A wolf chasing an elk or a moose. I still don't know the difference. Equipping some sparks. Ah. There he is. Ha! Ah! Get electric! Where is he? Whoa! Oh. My game! My game wanted to crash on me. Maybe because my magic is just too powerful to handle. Okay, we can easily dispose of one wolf now. <laughs> Very good. Let's go to White Run. Just because White Run is such a nice location. Actually, because I'm about to make a cut. <laughs> I think this part was a little shorter than usual, but whatever, you know. Some parts are longer, some parts are shorter. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it, and I also hope that you will be there in the next part. Until then, have a nice day, have a nice night, and of course, as always, have a nice time.